Hey guys, I'm about to unload my muzzleloader for the year. This is a CVA Wolf 50 caliber. I decided I might as well shoot it into my block of ballistic gel. I currently have the muzzleloader loaded with this Federal Ammunition um, Federal Borlock. I believe that is a all copper bullet, 270 grain. I've got it loaded with this Pyrodex 5050, 100 grains or two pellets of that. And my block of gel is up there against that bell of hay. I'm gonna be shooting at approximately 30 yards. Now, since I'm out here shooting anyways, I'll probably reload and do another shot with this Thompson Center. These are, these are the bullets I used to use, um, 200 grain with a Sabit. Now, I do like these better. They seem to reload better. Seems like that save it leaves a, re a residue in the barrel. So when I reload for that second shot, it's hard to get that bullet pushed down in there. But since I'm shooting the ballistic gel, I plan on shooting it first with what I already have loaded. And then I may shoot it with this right here just for comparison. I do have my block of gel strapped down. Hopefully that'll help keep it from hitting the ground if that strap holds, keep it from getting dirty. Got a block of wood behind it, so unless I shoot too high, hopefully I'll catch that bullet in that if it goes all the way through. Well, I just shot and the gun did not fire. Seems like that always happens to me while I'm hunting. Now, my last hunt was in the rain. I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not. So I'm gonna take that breech uh, plug out, look at it, clean it, and then try it again. So I ended up having to shoot twice. I'm hitting a little high. The first bullet just grazed the top, kind of cut my strap a little bit. So I reloaded and I shot again. I tried to aim a little bit lower, but I still hit high. Um, the bullet went through, it did exit the block. I think I'm gonna go reload and shoot again. Maybe aim a little bit lower. I guess I probably need to adjust those sights for next year. So that one was not much better. Maybe a little bit lower, and it also turned and came out of the block, but it did come just almost all the way through. Again, that is a 20 inch block. So that's probably all I'm gonna shoot with that federal bore lock. That stretch cavity looks pretty good. I'll go get a tape measure and measure that and be able to measure where this one came out. This one came out almost the end. So let me get a go tape measure and measure that. Like I say, that is a 20 inch block. First shot exited probably about 16 inches. The other one real close to the 20 inches. And I would say that second one got a decent little stretch cavity even out at 12 inches. But I really, I'd like to do better. So I'm gonna shoot again and try to get even lower on that block. I think I'm gonna set the camera on slow-mo for the next shot. So that last shot, I completely missed the block. Um, I look down here, I hit low, but I'll show you something here that's interesting. My first shot, my last hunt was in the rain and my powder was wet. 
and it didn't really sound right. I guess my powder either partially ignited or didn't ignite. So there's that save it lodged in that block of wood. And then I'm assuming that this is the shot I just shot because I was aiming, you know, I'd been hitting high on that block. So I pulled it down quite a bit further low and hit right there. Looks like it went through and probably lodged right there. So we know it will shoot through a treated four by four. I'll probably take that over there and um, split it, see what that bullet looks like. But I am going to try to shoot it with one of them Thompson Center Sabits before I quit. So what it did to that block, it looked more impressive just from where I was. Now it may be in my mind, it's probably because the bullet went all the way through, it absorbed more energy. But I can also see little pieces of lead in there. So I know that bullet came apart. And when it comes apart, I think it's dumping more energy into that block. You've got a bigger wound cavity right there penetrated all the way through um this one here let's see it says it's a tapered jacket and interlock for controlled expansion this one here labeled as trophy copper that's 270 grain versus 200 grain and like i say i believe that is a solid car copper bullet right there so looking at the piece of wood that was behind there, looks like it put a pretty, pretty good dent in the wood, but it did not lodge, so I don't have the bullet to look at. I did look at the ground, try to find it there. I found one of my federal bore locks in there on the ground. It looks like it retained pretty much all its mass. I don't think anything came off of that that I can tell. Perfect mushroom. So, judging by these results, I don't think you can really make a comparison on the penetration because these bullets exited the top. Looks like to me both bullets perform, per, performed pretty well based on the way that that bullet just stayed together, didn't fall apart. That one dropped quite a bit of lead in there. I would say these copper bullets might be better for elk if you wanted more penetration. But I think either one of them looks like they would be pretty good for whitetail. Now I'm going to split that 4x4 four four open and see what that bullet looks like. If it is lodged in there, I think it is. And this is what it looks like in there. It again, looks like looks like it maintained a lot of its mass and for some reason... Looks like it didn't mushroom as well, but let's see. What I really think happened is when it came out of that other block, I bet you it turned around backwards. And that's why the wings of that mushroom are pointed backwards. It seemed like that nine millimeter ammo I shot into that gel kind of did the same thing. It, it turned around inside and the back was uh, going forward. If that's the case on this one, but that bullet held together shooting through the four by fours as well. So it shot through this one four by four. Now that is just three and a half inches. It went probably approximately 19 inches before it hit this other one. And then from there, the end of that's almost three inches. That's a, looks like pretty good penetration to me. Well, guys, if you watched to the end of this video, hopefully you got something good out of it. And thanks for watching.